Hello everyone, I am here today to, this is crazy for me. This is real crazy for me and I don't know if this will even make the internet because I'm terrified. I'm gonna try to do a fun reading challenge for myself. I thought it would be very fun and a bit of a challenge for sure for me to read 100 pages a day for a week. That, that, I know you guys are seeing reading 200 pages in a day, reading for eight hours straight, reading for 24 hour reading challenge. Y'all, I still got a nine to five. I, I got obligations, you know, like I have these friends also in here, but I also have other like non-fictional characters to engage with on a daily basis, as well as a nine to five job. So I'm gonna challenge myself to try to read 100 pages a day for a week. My stipulation with this is just five days. Five days, it doesn't have to be consecutive, but five days of reading at least 100 pages a day. That's a lot for me, okay? That is a lot, but I'm here, I'm ready to go, I'm prepared. I do have a lot of stuff going on this weekend, so I may have to like wake up early and go to sleep late just to get this challenge done. But I'm gonna do it. We're starting now, literally right now. I have a dinner to get to at 5.30 today with one of my bestie girls for a little Galentine's dinner. My mind just blanked again. What are we doing today? It's 4.30 currently, 4.37. I have to be at the dinner at like 5.30ish. So I'm gonna try to knock out a few pages of The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I'm currently on chapter 14, page 110. So yeah, let's see if I can make it to 210 by the end of the night. We shall see. I'm gonna try my very best. So here's to hoping that I can actually kill this challenge and and do it for myself. And also for you guys watching because I love watching a reading challenge. <laughs> Here we go. love Jax. I just love, he, his banter is just the best, like truly. I apologize for my dog's super heavy breathing right now, but I'm about to leave to head to dinner and I have made it to page 130. I'll be back later tonight to hopefully make it to 210 in this book today. Just got home. Just got home from dinner. Oh, hello, focus on me. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed probably and then start reading again. I'm on page 131 right now. So, still have a good bit to go, but that's okay. Beans is back there chomping on a piece of ice. There she is, literally chewing on a piece of ice right now. I just read through page 210, so I hit my 100 pages for the day. I'm in a part now where I like don't wanna put the book down, but I'm so tired. It's, what time is it? It's 11.25 right now. So I may finish the chapter or maybe read one more chapter and then pick back up tomorrow. I am loving it so far. Definitely over halfway through The Ballad of Never After. I feel like I'm loving it more than Once Upon a Broken Heart even, and I loved the first book. This has been even better, in my opinion. It's just so fast paced and there's so much going on in this book. One thing leads to another thing, which leads to another thing, which leads to another thing. The way that Stephanie writes is almost like some things seem so obvious and have you guessing what is right in front of you, but it makes you think even harder. I'm like, okay, is that actually what she's wanting us to guess or is this reverse psychology? Am I making any sense? Probably not. I love the style and the way that she 
writes her story. I don't want to put this book down, but I'm also so tired. I might just finish up this chapter and then head to bed. I'm in chapter 25. I'll probably end on page 217 for the night and pick back up tomorrow. Hello. It is Friday and I am on my lunch break. Almost through the rest of the work day. Hopefully you can see me. I look like an actual bum today. I'm gonna start my 100 pages for the day now while I have a few minutes left of my lunch break and then the clock back in, finish out the day, and then hopefully I can bust out a lot more of my 100 pages. I have book club tonight, so I really hope I can get my 100 pages done. Last night I read a little over 100 pages. I got to page um, 217. I'm on chapter 26. I'm going to see how much I can get read now. I really don't have long, so I may only get to read like a couple pages now. Once I log out, I just have a couple things I have to do before getting over to book club at like 6.15ish. So. That's where we're at for the day. Hopefully I can crush this challenge again today. We'll see. Anyway, happy Friday. I'm about to head to book club. I literally haven't read a single page of The Ballad of Never After, so I don't know if I'm gonna hit my 100 pages for today. I might have to push it to tomorrow. Because again, I'm not doing the five consecutive days. I'm just gonna do five days, period. I did my 100 pages yesterday, which is Thursday. If I don't finish my 100 pages tonight, then I'll just do Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but I'm heading to book club. Look at my cute little book club journal. Oh my God, also my hair put in these little hearts with bows. It kinda looks silly, but I don't care. <laughs> See y'all later. Hello friends! It is currently... What is the time even? It's been a long day. It is 7.23 p.m. on Saturday. We've had a whole day of running around today up in Sevierville and Gatlinburg, which was so much fun, but I am exhausted. It was very fun though. We went up to the aquarium and celebrated our cousin slash best friend's baby's second birthday. <laughs> Complicated, but now I'm ready to just like unwind and do my 100 pages for the night. I wasn't able to do my 100 pages last night just because I had book club and before that I had work all day. Wasn't able to knock it out then, but I still have a few days left to get my four days of 100 pages to fully complete this challenge and crush it. Crush it. I think I'm going to go ahead and start some of my pages now and then here in a little bit gonna take my makeup off and unwind for the rest of the night. I am loving this book, okay? I feel like I'm getting a lot more out of the main characters in this book. There's a lot of twists and turns that are keeping me very engaged. Not that the first one didn't, but this one for some reason it's like hard for me to put it down. Making a hundred pages is like nothing when it comes to this book. I'm currently on page 220. I read a little bit ahead when I tried to read some yesterday. I just, there was no way I was going to be able to do 100 pages yesterday. I'm on 220 now, so I got to make it to 320, which is like honestly almost the end of the book. So it'd be cool if I could finish tonight, but I don't think I'm going to do that. We'll see. You know what? We'll see. We'll see if I can do it. That'd be That'd be really nice. I'm going to go ahead and pick back up at page 220 in The Ballad of Never After and we'll see where I get to tonight. Hopefully I can hit my 100 pages. We can do it. We can do it. It's fine. Everything is a break. Literally you can do it. Okay. Okay, I, let me take these off. I am on page 303 right now. And I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm tired or, I don't know, I don't know. Hi, Beanie. Y'all can barely even see her because she's so short. I am getting like a little bit antsy and maybe just like a little bit annoyed right now because like things are so obvious, but obviously it's written that way for a reason. And it's just like part of 
the storytelling of Stephanie's writing. But right now I'm just like, you're making the main character seem so stupid. <laughs> like it's being put right out in front of her and she just has no idea, no clue. Pretty sure that I know what's going on, but the main character does not. I know that it's supposed to be obvious. The reader is supposed to know what's going on, but the main character does not kind of thing, you know? But right now, I don't know if it's because I'm tired, but I'm like a little bit annoyed about it. <laughs> And I think it's just built up to the very end of the book because I'm almost done. So that's probably what it is. But here we are, 303. Don't have much to go to hit my 100 pages for the night. We're gonna trug along and finish this off. I'm no longer annoyed. Literally just six pages further and I would be fine. I'm, I'm thriving. I'm living my best life. Before you say anything, I just got a microneedling done all over my face and this is the mask that needed to be put on afterwards. It feels so good and cooling. Oh my gosh, I love it. But I need to update you guys because I don't want you to see me without the mask on because it's gonna be super red and it's gonna look like a sunburn. So I figured maybe this would be better than that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna update you guys really quick on where I'm at. So yesterday I finished The Ballad of Never After. Let me just say, loved how it ended. Absolutely obsessed, uh, definitely left on a cliffhanger like I thought. So I'm gonna have to go pick up A Curse for True Love because the way that it ended, I'm, I need, I need to know what happens next, like immediately. This was fantastic. I started last night at page 352 and there are 400 pages. So I read 48 out of this one. And then I started on A Court of Frost and Starlight after that to hit my 100 pages. I'm going to start with my 100 pages for the day in this one. And then I also did start Part of Your World, which is on my TBR for the month this morning. Um, I am already in chapter eight, actually. I'm on page like 61 already of Part of Your World, which I am obsessed with. I just love Abby Jimenez so much. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause in Part of Your World at page 61, and then do the rest of my 100 pages out of A Court of Frost and Starlight, because I really wanna finish this off, and then come back to Part of Your World, because I feel like I'm at a pretty good stopping point right now before things get too crazy. So, so I've read 60 pages for the day and then I need to read 40 more in A Court of Frost and Starlight. I'm really sorry for the jump scare by the way. This, I'm, I'm, I know I look terrifying. So here we are. <laughs> okay, so I don't know where I last left off with this video. I have read a lot of Part of Your World today. Um, I'm currently on page, I'm on page 148, like right in the middle of page 148 right now. I am loving this book, but I'm kind of wondering where it's going to go with over half of the book left. Just love Abby Jimenez, period. Like she is just, she is the epitome of a rom-com writer, I feel like. Like when I think of a rom-com, I think of her. When I picked up this book, I was on page 62 and now I'm on page 148 for the day. So I don't have very much left to hit my 100 pages for the day, but I wanna catch back up on A Court of Frost and Starlight. I have read a lot of this on my Kindle as well. So I need to compare and see where I'm at physically in the book as I did my pages on my Kindle yesterday. So hopefully I hit 100 pages yesterday, but I am almost finished with my 100 pages for the day in Part of Your World. I just love it so much, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish that up now. And then let's see, what's tomorrow? Wednesday. Oh my gosh, is this my last day of this challenge? I think I've done five days. Thursday, I didn't do Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh my gosh, today is my fifth day. My fifth and final day of 100 pages and I'm about to finish. I'm gonna go ahead, finish this book real quick and then, or 
finish my 100 pages, not finish the book, but finish my 100 pages for the day and then probably go ahead and pick back up on A Court of Frost and Starlight. Okay, so I made it to 100 and page, what am I saying right now? <laughs> I just made it to page 162. I'm on chapter 20 now of Part of Your World and I am so obsessed with it so far, but that completes my 100 pages for the day for this challenge, which is so crazy because it doesn't feel like it's been like five full days of me reading 100 pages, but love that I did this. I love that I challenged myself to read more pages than I normally do right now, even though I would love to read 100 pages a day. I just, it's not normally possible for me week to week, but I have absolutely loved it. Oh, I don't even have my light on. That might help. Anyways, that is it for this video and this challenge. I had so much fun doing this challenge and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you wanna see more videos like this or maybe have some challenge recommendations, video recommendations, whatever you wanna see, make sure to let me know below. I really wanna know what you guys wanna see. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.